So I just finished up uh, compiling, putting together uh, a video around installing a future fins box, one of these guys. Um, and as I was watching it, I don't think I was overly clear with it. I show kind of how to do it and I, did give, I give an overview between like a Bane box and all this and like FCS fins and but I don't think I was overly clear so I want to do this video before I I, uh, I upload the installation video for this future fins um, installation because um, you know these sets of videos that I'm doing are geared towards the beginner so um, there's a few different fin options and that's what I want to do in this video I want to talk about fin options so uh, sorry if this is a duplicate in the next video um, but I just want to go over this and just kind of clarify a few things um, so that way you can make a decision because I was once I watched the video after I was done making the video for installing this fin box I realized that not all of you are going to know the difference between the fin box all the fin choices and different configurations and ways you could do it you could install fins on a surfboard so the this guy here is what they call a Bane box, and it's a Fins Unlimited uh, version or type. Um, and this is for like your traditional big single fin type of, uh, and you can get shorter boxes and different types of fin setups. And um, basically this, there's a plate that slides in here with this screw here, and it drops in here. This slides in, and then it gets, you tighten down this Phillips head screw and it draws the fin tight into the into the fin box. This gets installed um, here, at least in my case, and it's done after glassing. So this is probably one of the easier ones to install. All you need is just a a, um, a regular router bit, just a um, I guess like a quarter inch or you know a half inch type of router bit. Um, and you can router down and do it, or you could use a Dremel. There's a few different ways. I've, when I first started out, I didn't have a good router, so I used a Dremel and I was able to do it. So that's one option and probably one of the simpler ones. However, if you guys are making, um, say, a shortboard or a thruster, um, you, you would probably want a different type of fin setup. But this is good for like your long boards or your single fins. Okay, so that's the Bane box. The next is uh, my favorite which are futures fins and these types of fin boxes um, they're very solid and but you need a special jig and setup to install these and the the jig for it is quite expensive the template um, it's like 200 200 bucks I think 250 um, and sorry if I'm repeating this if you've watched the other video um, or it, when you watch the other video for the installation of this. I, I kind of go over all this again. So basically there's a notch in the back. It fits in and that's it. And then you tighten it, tighten down your your hex screw, your grub screw here. And that just fits in right like that. So you router out, there's a template, like I said, to router out these two sections of this fin box. A little bit more complicated. So probably not the easiest for a beginner as I mentioned in the other video. video. However, um, you know, if you up for the challenge, you could do this. You know, it's definitely within the realm of a beginner to do if you know you take your time. Uh, also, I should mention with the futures system is there's a dip difference in depth of the boxes. There's the two side boxes in the in the rear box if you for a thruster setup you notice here it's the rear box is thinner because typically on a thruster or on a short board it's uh, thinner in the back you know you're trying to keep the the boards as thin as possible um, so that's why that's thin and that's reflected in the fin setup in the fins itself too so as you can see there's an offset so if you can see between these two so this one's this is the center fin and it's a little bit um, shallower in the part that seats in the fin box. So that's the futures system. That's the system that I like. And then the other system that I've had a little bit experience with but not a ton is the FCS plugs. 
Um, these are a little bit in, easier to install and I think the template to install these is cheaper. So this could be an option for a beginner if you're looking for a removable fin system. Um, a couple things I'll mention about these. I have these because I like putting, a, and I mentioned in the next video, um, a GoPro mount at the front of my boards. So there's a GoPro mount that can be used for the FCS plug, which is kind of nice. This you can just install with uh, a whole a whole saw, um, at least for me. The proper way, I believe, is they drill a hole all the way to one side of the of the board till the glass, and you. I think these are installed after glassing. And what happens is the resin goes all the way through, and it it soaks into these notches and everything, and as you can imagine, I think the resin goes all the way through, so it gives it a nice strong joint. So you cut a hole, and the hole in the board is like, say, all the way through, and then I think the resin goes down. Uh, maybe someone can correct me if I'm mistaken on that, because I've never actually uh, installed one properly with, a, with a, the proper template. I've just kind of faked my way through it by drilling a hole and then put them in and I haven't had any problems with them. I've never had my GoPro pull out in a, in a, in a wipeout or anything. So, although fins might be a little different because there's quite a bit of, uh, you know, lateral force or force being pushed on the fins. So, um, the nice thing about the, this system is that you're less likely to do damage on, on your board when you wipe out or if you hit a rock or something because the fins have been designed to pop out or break because there's just two fin tabs and typically this, the setup would be like this too and then your fins would have notches and they, they seat in. There is a difference in plugs. There is a center plug which is straight and then there's a side plug and I don't know if you can see it in the video but which incorporates the cant for the fin um, which I forgot to mention um, about the future fin system as well that the center fin is straight but the the camber or the cant on the fin is actually built right in to the fin and not in the box where so if you look the fin is like kicked in um, the future system on the other hand your thin your fins are all flat so they're all like a center fin if you could imagine um, with no cant and the cant is built into the plug so it's going to be this plug is actually on an angle so this one is a side fin plug and these are center fin plugs um, so okay those are removable fin systems and you know do do some research online and see what might suit you or what you might like better you probably already have if you've been doing any amount of surfing you probably have already have some uh, different types of fin systems laying around so maybe you want to go with something you already have um, but another option is a glass on fin which you can you can create yourself you can make your own fin and you can glass them on there's different videos out there to do that i'm not going to do that on this board but maybe in future videos i might the thing i'll mention about glass on fins um actually i have a surfboard with a glass on fin so i'm just going to go grab it and uh, i'll talk talk about it okay so we're back I grabbed the other board, I put the board I'm working on on the ground. So as you can see here, I have a 2 plus 1 type of setup um, and I did glass on fins here and then this is a Bane box. As you can see, it's flush, right? So when you install it after glassing, you grind it all down and that's how it looks and then there's the fin installed with the screw holding it down into the plate and then there's a pin in here and a channel in the bottom and it can slide back and forth so let's talk about glass on fins because that could be definitely an option the way glass on fins work or how you install them uh, and this is for you guys so you can make an, an informed decision well maybe an informed decision you have your you make a fin or you buy them and they're ready to be glassed on and they're typically flat you also have to take into consideration the cant and everything and there's te various templates to do that you can find them online uh, so what you would do is the fin the fin 
is you figure out where you want it, so you mark it out, you put the fin, you tack the fin down with some glue. I typically just use a dab of hot glue just to hold it, to hold the angle. And you do it after glassing of the board. After the, I believe, the lamination coat. Um, so after you do your lamination with your glassing, your first coat. I could be wrong on that. I, I, it's been a while since I've done these. In here is a fillet that you put um, strands of fiberglass all the way around. So I'll come on this side to reinforce this gusset all the way around. This fin is also covered in fiberglass to make it tough so or durable so it lasts. So you also glass all the way up on both sides with the fiberglass so it meets. So it is a little more involved. And that fiberglass gets um, taken, um, I should say, fettered out into the board as well. So if you can imagine fiberglass goes down, let's say, this side, and then it goes out like that. So between the combination of that and some fin roving or strands of fiberglass along the base of the fin, it makes it incredibly strong. And that's another option. There's nothing really simple about installing fins, but there's nothing overly difficult. You just need to take your time. So for this build, I'm using Futures fins. Um, maybe in future videos, I might do a, how to do a glass on fin, um, but just for this board, I won't. Maybe I'll do an additional um, video just specifically for that. Maybe even just on a piece of wood or something, just so, so I can show you guys how it's done. Um, but I won't get to that until probably until the board is done. For now, um, you could look up some other videos, maybe if you do decide to do glass on fins. Um, if you're following along as I'm building my board, um, you know, Futures is definitely an option. The Bane Box is definitely an option if you're building a longer type of board. I think they do sell shorter fit, shorter Bane Boxes um, for side, for like a thruster setup as well. I'm not 100% sure. But uh, that's, some, that's another option you could look into. So anyways, hopefully this video wasn't too much of a ramble and it you know, helps you guys make a, a, an informed decision or at least a decision on um, fin choice if, uh, if you are building a board. Um, it's something you need to keep in mind. Anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, post them in the comments below and maybe I'll try to help you out and see if I can... Uh, provide some advice or at least my opinion or head on over to like some of the forums and post over on Swaylocks and uh, maybe someone over there would be nice enough to uh, help out. They're always been uh, a really excellent resource. Um, okay, thanks for watching.